I think I'm live. Oh, timing. <laughs> Did not set that up. It's got a ka-ching just as we went live. Can't even see what it is. It's a cassette, a five pound cassette. There you go. Right, welcome. Um, I thought I would do kind of an update video. Uh, try and get myself in the middle. There we go. Uh, about I guess it's about a month back, I did a video where I sorted out 10 different bulky items, the sort of thing that I tend to put off listing. And I set them all up along here and I showed you what they were and what I was hoping to sell them for. Um, I have now sold almost all of it. I have one item left, um, which is the typewriter. I've had a couple of offers on it, but I'm sticking to my guns because it's such a lovely item. But um, I think that is the only thing I've got left. So I thought as a bit of an interesting video, I would do a follow up and show you what I managed to achieve on everything else in that video. I will link the video below if you didn't see it so you can go back and have a look um, at the items in detail because I showed them close up and explain where I got them from, how much I paid for them, etc. But for this video, we're going to go into eBay, find all of the items that have sold, and I'll show you what I managed to achieve on them. One is a bit of a sad story. I saved that till last. Bit of a disappointment. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that's annoying. Probably the best sale, one of the best sales out of the lot. Kind of bit me in the bum. Well, it wasn't my fault. Anyway, we'll we'll explain that when we get to it. But I will go into eBay now and we will work through and show you what I sold. Now, there were a couple of bits from that video. The first item I showed that was here, which was a coffee maker. I elected not to list that in the end because when I came to test it and clean it, it was in a right state and I really didn't want to deal with it. So that didn't even get listed. So that's off the list. Another thing that was in that video it was actually the last thing. It was tucked right down in the corner in my photography bay, which was a portable toilet. That um, a subscriber got in touch and said that he needed one of those. And we did a deal on that. So that sold for 50, which was great. Um, and everything else. Yeah, apart from the typewriter that I've already mentioned has sold. So let me set up a screen share and i'll show you what we've managed to achieve on these things just got to find the right one bear with me right okay so there we go oh i do like this you can still see me so and you can see the screen over here so this is the ice cream maker which when i made the video was in the middle of a heat wave and I said, this will sell quick. And it did sell, I think, within 24 hours. Might have taken a couple of days. Can't remember. Um, and that's what we achieved on it. $42.99 with shipping. So, yeah, very happy with that. It was the perfect moment to sell this because it was ridiculously hot. It's like the hottest day of the year or something when I made that video. And I achieved pretty much the top end of what they go for. So cuisine art, ice cream maker, all tested, lovely condition in its box, easy sale. So that was the first thing to sell out of it all. Uh, if we move on, you will remember, if you've seen that video, I showed this BBC. Now, the BBC was faulty because when I tested it, the power supply blew up. But I listed it and described it as such. Um, you probably see in the pictures here. That's the power supply at the back left there. That needs replacing. Everything else, uh, it's fine. I showed the close up of, of these ROMs and the insides, the guts of the machine. There's the faulty power pack. Um, now, the reason I managed to achieve 100, I think, had a lot to do with the fact that it had this disk drive with it. Um, that was bundled in, Watford Electronics disk drive. 
and a bunch of software. Nothing exciting there. I did look into these. I could have sold some of those bits off separately, maybe. Um, some of those had the little ROM chips in as well. There you go. But I stuck it on at £100 and was very happy that that sold quickly for the full asking price. Now, with the BBC, there was also a bunch of e-bug magazines and other bits and bobs. Uh, I separated those off and got £10 plus shipping on those, as you can see. And originally, I sold this way before that video. I pulled this out of the bundle and sold that, which is an AMX mouse in its box with instructions. And as you can see there, I got £80. Uh, free shipping on that. But considering the whole bundle at the boot sale cost me 35, I'm really quite happy with that. So we've got 100 on the unit itself uh, with the disk drive and those bits of software, 80 uh, free shipping on this mouse and that little bonus 10 pounds on those other bits. So that worked out really well. So that's all gone. Let's close these down. So you'll remember in that video, there were two keyboards, <coughs> excuse me. I got confused in that video and thought this Casio was a different Casio that I, that I had, which was um, worth a hundred plus. Um, this was a different Casio and was only worth sort of 50 to 60. Um, I managed to achieve 60 on it. I was very pleased with that. That seemed to be the limit of what these, this particular model was going for. Uh, that's with free shipping, cost about 10 pounds to se send via courier, but very happy with that. This was a jumble sale find and I paid 10. So not too bad. Um, I did, this was the one where I discovered when testing and cleaning that it had had batteries explode in here. Now that looks pretty good but it was absolutely covered. You can see some little bits of residue, but that was absolutely caked in dried on battery acid gunge. It was hideous. It took forever to clean out. Um, but I managed it and I managed to get it running on batteries eventually once I cleaned the contacts. Uh, there you can see more of the residue that I couldn't manage to quite get off, but that was a lot better than it was. So I was very pleased that that went. I've had positive feedback on it. So yeah, happy with that in the end. There were two keyboards. The other keyboard was this Yamaha that I showed when I found it at a car boot sale. Paid $12.50. Was it $12.50? Why do I think it was $12.50? I think so, $12 or $15, around that. It's in the video anyway. Um, and this one I achieved $59.99. Um, for whatever reason, I elected to put shipping on top. I know it's it's I, there's no rhyme or reason why I do free shipping on some and not on others. Um, so, yeah, that was a, an easy flip. This was really quick as well. This sold within a few days of listing. Uh, so the keyboards went well. Uh, had positive feedback on that one as well. And then you'll remember in that video, if you've seen it, again, if not, I'll link the video below so you can go back and have a closer look at all these items. I had a steam cleaner that we picked up at a car boot sale. I got it ridiculously cheap. I think it was like three pounds. There was a reason why the guy sold it to me that cheap. It didn't work. It seemed to me that the, the heating element to generate the steam was faulty. Uh, I got it all set up, it all lit up, it looked like it was working, but it would never build up a head of steam. So um, what I elected to do in the end, I was going to ask about 50, maybe a bit more for the whole bundle. When I found out it wasn't working, I elected to get rid of the main unit and sell off spares. So not all of it is sold, but I'll show you the few bits that have. So this this is the main like hose attachment and I've got 25 pounds for that plus 3.99 shipping. Um, yeah, nothing really to show here. That's the attachment that attaches to the machine. 
it's in lovely condition looked like it had barely been used uh and that's like the sort of grip part and there you go that's it a hose and the handle assembly that went for 24.99 uh this was just a little water bottle that you use to fill it up with um yeah i'd seen someone else selling this for 10 pounds uh free shipping so very little in it really um but yeah stuck it on and that went and this was a little high pressure nozzle that you put on the end of that hose to create a very fine uh jet of steam got 15 pounds for that there you go that's the high pressure nozzle at the end just a few pictures all around so people get an idea of exactly what it is so that went so that's 25 um, 40 50 but a couple of, you know shipping to come off that etc uh and then 60 with this this to add shipping on top uh this is as you can see there in the title large hard floor carpet rug brush accessory attachment for the pulte vaporetto i've still got this smaller version of this left and a little steam valve and the instructions so i think i've still got three listings active but as you can see we've achieved more than we actually would have done on the whole unit uh, by breaking it down so i'm actually quite happy with that um so from my three pounds investment that was still a good pickup despite the fact that it wasn't working and this will happen if you're going to pick up electricals there will be issues like the batteries on that uh, casio the fact that this didn't work um but if you can get stuff cheap enough yeah you can still make the money um another thing i showed in that video and i said at the time it was a bit of a fail i shouldn't have bothered with it really um because it has so many bits missing uh if we go into the pictures there was a few little bits of accessories that were with it uh, so i bundled those in it was missing the whole kind of uh, spur setup off the front uh only had one sale should have a sale on the second mast as well but it cleaned up okay it looked all right in the pictures in the end uh this went out a couple of days ago um i took an offer of 10 pounds on it or i may have sent an offer at 10. oh more messages we've had an offer let's have a look someone's offered eight pounds and a penny on a necklace that Andrea's got listed at 9.99. I think I'm just going to accept that. I would normally ask Andrea, but that's so close to the asking price, really. She'll probably go, no, you shouldn't have accepted that. There we go, that's gone. Um, so, yeah, anyway, the pirate ship, that has gone. I just wanted it out of the way um i think i paid two pounds for it so as you can see it really wasn't really worth all the hassle it's actually gone gsp so i had to ship it within the uk to the gsp shipping center and it's gone on to italy now this last item is the one that's a bit of a bit frustrating to say the least this is the pv amp that you may remember i needed to test so we went to friends of ours and borrowed their electric guitars and plugged them in and tried it out and it worked perfectly so i listed it at the real top end of what i could achieve i remember somebody messaged me on that video and said you're never going to get 100 pounds for a pv amp well i did 100 pounds free shipping as you can see uh it was heavy i think it cost about 15 i think maybe to ship uh via courier but there's a really big but with this one now this i um padded it in loads of bubble wrap i then wrapped it in lots of cardboard mm. i then floated it oh payment received i then floated it in and inside another box with loads and loads of packing paper all around it so it had a bit of wiggle room so I did all of that, despite the fact that these things are built to last. I had been using this 
as a step stool in here to get up to the higher shelves and to reach the back of stuff. Um, and they are built to last. They are built to be shoved in the back of vans, you know, to be carried around. They're portable. They are super thick, um, like chipboard they're made out of. Anyway, I really couldn't see how this would get smashed up in the post or in, in the hands of the courier. But they managed to smash it somehow. And the guy sent me a whole load of pictures. The box, one corner of the box was absolutely stoved in. It looked like they had launched it off the back of a truck or something onto one corner. I actually had fragile tape. I had, uh, where is my fragile tape? This stuff. The box was wrapped in fragile tape. I don't know if that's like a, a red rag to a ball with courier drivers. But anyway, it looked like they had launched it. It had landed on one corner and stoved in a corner. Uh, the little metal brackets you can see. The guy, I should have brought up the pictures to show you, but I, I didn't think about that. One of these metal brackets just had a massive, it had basically flattened the corner. It had snapped one of the side boards. Um, so one whole side, I don't have a picture of the sides, was snapped. It's like almost an inch thick board and it had snapped that. So anyway, the guy showed me all the pictures. It was definitely my, the item I sent. Um, and I said, okay, fair enough. Um, what do you want to do? Thankfully, he was capable of repairing it. He was going to do what he could to repair it. He really wanted this specific amp to be as a pair to another one that he had. And these aren't that common because they're American imported ones, etc. So he really wanted to keep it and try and repair it. But obviously, he wanted some recompense for the fact that it had arrived smashed. So we agreed on a 50% refund. So I gave him 50 pounds back. Remember, the courier cost came out of my original cost. But I was happy. I'd, I'd rather that than have to refund in full or take a return and then have an item I can't sell. I have yet to chase up the courier to try and see if I can get money back from them. Um, but that's another video that I want to do. I don't tend to pay for extra insurance. I think long term, if you cover all of your items, you lose out. In this case, obviously, it would have been beneficial. So I've only got basic cover on it, but I'm going to try and get the basic amount of cover back. But that was just sad that a really nice item that was fully functioning and working perfectly got smashed. And I'm amazed they managed to, out of all the things, they managed to break, you know, an amp. So, yeah, that was annoying. But there you go. You live and learn. I'm not sure I would do anything differently if I sold it again. I thought I had packed it perfectly, adequately. But if you're going to chuck something onto the corner of the box... What looked like from a great height, yeah, it's going to break. So that was an unfortunate end to quite a successful um, lot of sales. So there you go. I think we will wrap that one up there. Let me see if I can come out of screen share. How do I do that? Uh, stop sharing. There we go. Oh, the sunshine is bright on my face. Hold on. Let's do that. Right, so there you go. I hope that was interesting. Um, as I said, one thing left. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll share it with you because it's a really nice item. This is the one remaining item, apart from those couple of little accessories from that steam cleaner. That is the only thing that now, now I realize you can't actually see it. Um, yeah, I've had a couple of people offer on this and I haven't let it go. It's on at 65. Oh, it weighs a ton. And there it is. So 
I don't know. Maybe I will accept the next offer that comes in if it's decent. But I have seen people achieving 65, so I'm kind of wanting to hold out, particularly because it's in lovely, lovely clean condition. There you go. It's an Olympia. It's quite an early one. And the, the case is in lovely condition as well. Which I <laughs> can't get it back in there. There we go. So, yeah, this outer case is also, look at that. It's quite exceptional, really. A little bit of a scuff there. But, yeah, gorgeous. So, hopefully, we'll get a sale on that soon. Which will make up a bit for the fact that I had to refund half of the amp. So, okay. Right. I'll wrap this one up. Thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, if you've stumbled across this video, um, please think about subscribing. Uh, this channel is all about how we earn our living selling online on eBay and on Amazon. We share our whole process of reselling, where we pick up this stuff, um, you know, the sort of stuff we pick up, and then we do the ins and outs of buying and selling on eBay and, and share our whole process. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.